What does it mean to me to be a buff? Um, just knowing that before me, there were so many great players. There was so I, I was representing uh, the people before me. All I could think about was creating a legacy that would last forever. Most importantly, it is, it's about poise and it's about pride and uh, it's, it, it for me became everything I'm about as, as a person. It's, it's worth it. Uh, it gives you more than you give it. It's a special status, a special being, a special place. I'm blessed and lucky to be a buff. First of all, it means tradition. It also means brotherhood, doing our duty to uplift and help one another to become the very best that we can possibly become. It means everything. I think as, as I've gotten older, it's become even more important to me. Understanding the gravity, the responsibility I have to carry on the tradition. Let me tell you what pride is. We're talking about over 100 years of football success. A top 30 team all time in wins. We're talking about national championship, Buckus Award winner, Thorpe Award winner, and also a Heisman Trophy winner. We are talking about the best of the best. Pride and tradition of the Colorado Buffaloes will not be entrusted to the timid or the weak. The man next to you uh, is gonna always have your back in every situation, good or bad. The, the tradition, it, it cannot be trusted with someone uh, that's not willing to put in the extra work. The pride of the Buffalo is not being trusted to the timid of the weak. It means so much to me that my 13-year-old son can finish the sentence when I say the pride. The pride and tradition, hard work, discipline, and perseverance. Fellas, you come to school here, we're gonna open up a can of whoop ass each and every week on this conference, on this team, and understand this. The only way you're gonna inherit this, you gotta be willing to fight for everything that you want in life. And so, that's what that, that quote means to me. It means standing tall, fighting for what you believe in, and not allowing anyone to take anything from us. The word fight to me means there is about to be an intense battle, a battle against a foe that is recognized and sometimes unrecognized. Fight means that we are about to clash. Fight means I'm about to win. It means you're a person that will fight to the death. You're part of a brotherhood. You're part of a family that's special and unique. Shoulder to shoulder means that uh, in the heat of battle, when uh, you're going against the man across from you, you know, you can always depend on the guy next to you, 42 years old now, and uh, all my guys that I went to battle with are, are, are considered brothers to me. That means I'm looking in the eyes of the man, of the men uh, that are around me, that they can count on me, that they can trust me, that they can, um, uh, expect my best. And if you have pride, that means it's coming from within. And then when you combine that pride with the pride of your brothers, you got something special. One of the most embarrassing times for me personally as a Buffalo was when Coach Mack covered 
that saying on the wall in the meeting room. We were not allowed to look at it because we did not represent the pride of the Buffaloes. We played timidly and we played weakly. That hurt me to my core. I made a point in my life to never have that happen again. You know, shoulder to shoulders has been evident in my life with my former teammates. And I use the word former out of place. They've been they're, they're teammates for life. Guys, I've been in the delivery room when, they, when their babies were born, uh, when there had been deaths in their families. Uh, we get on an airplane and we go support. Shoulder to shoulder extends again beyond the football field. That's where it started. That's not where it ended. And so again, like, like being a buff, it's a lifestyle, it's who we are. It defines us in a lot of ways. And uh, again, just blessed to be able to stand shoulder to shoulder with some of the great men that I've ever met in my life. Family, unity, cohesiveness, no surrender, no retreat. Sweat in, sweat out. It is what it is. It's up to you to continue in the pageantry of the University of Colorado. It's time for your name to go up in the stadium. It's time for you to be recognized. It's time for me to appreciate everything that you do. We used to wear t-shirts that said, trust me, I'll do my job, you'll do, you'll do your job. Um, and I think that's what shoulder to shoulder really means to me is we're gonna go step for step, stride for stride, we're gonna keep punching shoulder to shoulder until we get to where we're trying to go. One thing when you're involved in the fight, okay, especially in a the, in the fight for life, you're gonna get knocked down sometimes and that's okay. The thing is, are you willing to stand up and get punched again? Okay, because understand this, sometimes we're going to meet different challenges in life where we're going to get knocked down. But the measure of a true fighter is how well he gets back up and how he throws the next punch. Fighting to me is very, very important. Fight. Fight. It, it, it means that you're in, in, in a violent confrontation. But even more than that, it's about not giving up. Fight. Fight. Two of our greatest men in history had to overcome adversity. Some of our greatest men in history was faced with resistance. But how did they overcome it? They fought. They knew the risk did not weigh the reward. So they fought. See, fighting, if, if all you do was put the gloves on and decide that you're going to go out Saturday and fight, you've already lost the battle. To fight means being mentally strong enough to understand that all those days between games is where the game is won and lost. We sometimes lose sight of it. Don't lose sight of it. Fight, 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 fight. You know, there's something I do have to say. Um, you know, you can't play football looking over your shoulder, wondering who's behind you. I know that you got fans behind you. I don't know if you got the university behind you, but they're not behind you like the former players. Your families are behind you. Your friends are behind you. But anybody who wore that gold, gold helmet, believe me, we are behind you. I came to this university in 1983. I was in the first recruited class by a Bill McCartney. In 1984, we went one and 10, one of the worst college football programs in the country. 1985, seven and four, bowl game. 1986, bowl game. 1987, qualified for a bowl game, but declined because there was a, a conflict with our schedule. 1988, bowl game. 1989, undefeated, lost in the national championship game. 1990, Colorado football wins its first and only national championship. That's five years, guys. This can happen. We believe in you and we are behind you. It's been three games. Are you ready to have some fun now? Are you ready to really have some fun now? Are you ready to let it go? Are you willing to let it go? Will you do whatever it takes for the man sitting next to you? It's time, baby. I'm with you. Let's get it done. Singing a fight song after we win. Uh, it's the culmination of a, of a week's worth of work, and three hours of battling and fighting and competing. You know, it's a special uh, feeling to see that fight zone because you've all done it together. Then you roll up the mighty score and you never give in. Fight. We just got to understand that 
Fighting is very, very powerful. But it's not about the first and second round, okay? It's about round 14 and round 15 when we finish the fight the way we're supposed to and capable of. When we sign that fight song in the 62-36 game, you know, and then singing that fight song after the Utah game, there's no better feeling than experiencing that. And that's what this is about. It's about that moment in time. It's about that moment in life that you can't rehearse or script. Fight. Probably the greatest reward of being a buff is singing that song, knowing that so many of us worked so hard, so many of us believed in each other, so many of us um, accomplished what we set out to accomplish. And, and the greatest reward uh, for, for any Buffalo, I believe, is, is singing that song, singing that fight song, uh, knowing that, yeah, you laid it all out there and you accomplished uh, what it was uh, you set out to do. If you sing this fight song, <laughs> you committed to it. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's a declaration. This is what I'm going to do for my brothers. It's a commitment. A man is as good as his word. Really, understand what I'm saying? You signed up for something big. <laughs> we win championships. It's a joyous occasion that we want to show you, you know, uh, why we enjoy it. And uh, uh, the, the fight zone is it, a tradition thing, you know. It's, it, it's one of those things that say, hey, you know, we know even if you're not here, hopefully we're singing loud enough for you to hear. The fight song, it's not just a song. It's an anthem. It's like winning the gold in the Olympics and standing up there and hearing that it's Bart Star Spangled Banner. It's like coming home to from war and being faced with the, the, the flag, the fight song. That's your pledge, that's your anthem. So after a battle, after the fight, and you are victorious, you stand with your brothers, shoulder to shoulder, and you want the world to hear you. Sing your anthem. Say your, ble your pledge. And that means you've conquered. You've conquered, you left your mark, and you're on to the next one. That's what that anthem means. That's what that pledge means. That you conquered, you left your mark, and you're on to the next one. <sighs> Fight song is always special. As you can tell, just talking about the fight song brings back emotions. It takes me back 20 years. To a very special time in my life that I'll never forget. To come together, shoulder to shoulder, the band of brothers to achieve great things on a football field. Conference titles, national championships, teammates winning awards. The fight song is what you do after the game. It puts a cap on all that you have just achieved on the field. All that hard work in the spring, in the fall, during camp, all the hard work during the week, that fight song puts a cap on it each week. It closes one week, and it's the opening to the next week. I would do anything to be a part of the fight song again. 
singing that, being a part of that, achieving Buffalo victory with my brothers, with the guys who I've worked and, and bled with months and years with to achieve what we just achieved, put that final cap on it, the final cherry in the drink, fight song.